Hello everyone and welcome back to the absolutely beautiful Star Stable Online. I mean, just look at this! Oh my gosh, South Hoof is very quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite places ever in the entire Jorvik area. Oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful. You can even see trees from over here. Can we get there from here? Oh, I think that's across the bay. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. But yes, welcome back everybody. So last time we were running around with little Madison here and we ended up seeing a very mysterious barge leave from this quiet little beach where normally you don't have the fairies come and visit. And we need to see what sort of mysterious evils are possibly going down. Well, possibly a hoof, you might say, here on South Hoof. So we're going to talk with Madison again today. Poor Rose Stone is miserable. I promised her as soon as we get anywhere where she might potentially see a vet, we will be going back <laughs> so she can see a vet and I can try to keep her mood up in the top area. And we're also getting up there on our star coins. So we should hopefully be able to adopt one of the Welsh ponies. That is something you can do. You can adopt one of the wild ponies from South Hoof, which would be amazing because you need a pony for some of the upcoming quests, I hear. And I would love if it could be one of these wild ponies. So we've got a lot to do. Also, just as a side note, you guys, I need a new outfit. This is so mishmash. We are so like embarrassingly not matched up. It looks like a little kid just sort of rolled into their costume chest and like came out with all these random things. So I'm going to try to fix that. But that's okay because we kind of match with Madison. Actually, she has more style than we have. What am I saying? All right. Come on, Madison. I've heard Grandma say about a million times how dangerous the waters are around the island and how many ships and vessels have run aground. Why would a ferry go from here and not from the harbor? Hmm, something fishy is going on here. I think this could be a case for the two detectives, Saga and Madison. You want to help? You do? Yay! Together we can solve this mystery. I'm almost certain that it's the boat which spooked the horses. You think so too? The question is, what was it doing here? Detective Saga, imagine if it was pirates! <laughs> I love her imagination. Oh, trying to keep up with her is like you need a few pots of coffee and like just entire cups of sugar to down just to have her energy level. It's awesome. And now they've hidden their treasure here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. It won't hurt to look a little. Now let's find Captain Gold's tooth treasure. If you look over there, I'll start looking here. All right. So we're investigating the beach. Then we're going to talk to Matt. Madison. Oh, my gosh. This child doesn't wait for anybody. She waits for no, she waits for no horse. All right. Oh, okay. All right. We're doing this. Okay. That was fine. All right. Well, I didn't expect things to um, move that quickly. All right. Nothing. Oh, the hoof prints in the sand tell us horses have been here. <gasps> I hope nobody has been messing with the wild horses. That's bad news bears. That's going to bring out the Siri wildlife protector, like ecologist. People have been here. Yeah. That's going to bring out like the wildlife defender in me. If somebody's been messing with the horses here. All right, nothing on this side. I think we're supposed to go over here. Oh man, Rose Stone, I have missed running around with you. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check over here. Is there a spot? Ha, there's the spot. All right, so let's see. Something's definitely happened. Detective work conditions fulfilled. All right, let's come over and talk with Madison. This might be bigger than the two of us, Madison. We might need to get some like actual real help soon. Hmm, that was weird. The horses have been down here on the beach. You can tell by the hoof prints, but why are there human boot prints here? And this rope, what do you think it could mean, Saga? <gasps> it means that I am going to break out like all of my wilderness protection skills because that's not cool. Somebody messing with like, I don't know, are they protected? They're wild, I mean. I don't know if it's, is this legal? You know what, I don't care, it's not cool. We're gonna, we're gonna stop this or at least investigate this. Let's do this, Madison. I agree with you that something is very strange. Do you think it's smugglers, pirates? What a good idea, Saga. You're totally right. Grandma or mom and dad will know something about the ferry. You should be called Ace Detective Saga. I don't know what that means, but the name Ace sounds pretty cool. Oh my goodness. I love how they're just like referencing really cool things. Okay, come on Saga. Let's ride to grandma if there's anyone who might know anything It'll be her. She's usually over by the lighthouse. All right, so let's go find your grandma Madison All right, we're ace detectives And let's get moving and maybe while we're up here We'll be able to see the wild horses again and thank you guys so much for all of your amazing comments about how you love watching the wild horses by the way because that was really fun just to see how many of you guys are encouraging and how many of you guys love how beautiful it is here. And you don't mind when I just like to let my hair down 
and just enjoy the beautiful fields. All right. And then for those of you who keep going, see how I get a new horse. That's our goal for being able to work here at South Hoof. Are the wild horses over here? No, I wonder if they're spooked. But yeah, that's our goal for being able to work here in South Hoof, is to be able to get our reputation with the hermit up and be able to get our Welsh pony, which is the type of wild pony that is here on uh, the peninsula. All right. I still don't see anybody. No horses. All right, Madison, looks like it's going to be a quiet ride over to the lighthouse. All right, there we go. Now we're over to the South Hoof Lighthouse. Oh my gosh, is that the outhouse? <laughs> is that like the outhouse on the, That's like an outhouse on the very edge of the cliff. I don't know if I would feel comfortable um, letting my pants down over there just just to put that out there. I, I really feel like that would be a little bit a little bit stressful. Uh, to say the least. All right, and let's go ahead and we're going to talk with Sigrid, I think is her name, if I remember correctly. Yes, Sigrid. A uh, ferry to South Hoof. Oh, oh, we're still working on the ferry. I totally forgot about that. All right, we'll let, we'll let, we'll let James know the ferry's ready, but right he now we have some other issues. There you are, Madison. Oh, that's right. Madison snuck off because she was supposed to be doing her homework. All right, an important question, a ferry to South Hoof. An important question. Hello again, Saga. Nice to see you again. Thanks for finding Madison. Madison, you are very, very late. We should have started your lessons ages ago. So go fetch your books and we'll get started. Madison, what is it? All right. Oh, ooh, we get like five. We get like a penny for that, basically. <gasps> look at her outfit. Oh, I'm going to have to remember to look around for all of the special events. I would have loved a Daisy outfit. Oh, phooey. Good day to you, Saga. If I understand correctly, you've already been given. Uh, oh, wait, we've already. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. OK, thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll report on that. I promise. Um, oh, I'm supposed to talk to Madison. There we go. Madison. Grandma, wait! Me and Saga need to talk to you about something first. It's really, really important. Madison, is this going to be like the girl who cried wolf? You've made too many stories up and now no one's going to believe you? Sigrid, I swear it's true. Saga, thanks for binding Madison and bringing her home. But now she has to get on with these lessons. She has a test coming up and there's lots to go through before that. Don't, I don't think you're lying, but it's highly unlikely that a fairy could have stopped at that beach. Maybe it steered off course, or perhaps it's just that sometimes the mist and fog and low lights can play tricks. People claim to have seen stranger things than a fairy out at sea there. Everything from sea monsters to sea people. So, Madison, off you go with your books and we'll get started on your lessons. Oh dear, I hope Sigurd's not like in on it, like she's not secretly part of this. I think this is going to upset Madison. Grandma, I swear, I knew what I saw. It was a fairy and there was something fishy about it. Okay, okay, I'll go get my books. <sighs> Saga, meet me down at the farmyard. <laughs> oh, and we get a cute new outfit? <gasps> Yes! Okay, okay. Madison hurries away to the farm. Nice to see you again, Sigrid. Very nice to see you. We probably should go let James know that the ferry is open and maybe get Rose Stone to a vet so that she can have her poor, her poor needs taken care of. I feel terrible about that. But at the same time... Oh, goodness. Oh, and let's see. Emma Springfall! Thank you, Emma! But at the same time, I really, really, really love being on this island. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's just it's somebody's horse who just wasn't wearing any gear. All right, I know Rose Stone, but I need to take care of you. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I would take care of her on this island, but right now there's nothing on the peninsula that lets me take care of her needs when I come over here. I think that'll change as time goes on. All right, let's slow down. And we're going to meet her over at the farmyard. <gasps> Where my chickens are! Can I just, like, adopt one of the chickens here? I would totally do that. Oh, there's Madison! All right, can we talk with her? Yeah. Great, I need to get back to grandma now, but I promise you and me are gonna work on what's up with that fairy. See you later, Saga. Now I have to run. I'm already super late for everything. Oh wait, of course. Dad asked me to give this to you when I was getting my books. Apparently it's to say thanks for helping out on the farm. See ya. Oh yay. Okay, and so Madison is now good and I have a new shirt. What does it look like? <gasps> it's so cute. Oh, I love the fishing gear outfit that you can get here. I don't I don't think it is, yeah, it's not nearly as good for riding and jumping as our purple exercise jacket, but guess what? We're starting to match a little bit better, and that's very important too, and the chickens are here, and they make me happy, so this is a good thing. All right, so what else do we need to do here on this island? Oh, James is apparently like here. Okay, we'll go talk to him, and then I want to go talk to the hermit. So let's go talk to James. 
And yeah, I mean, there's stuff. I just can't see a spot to, like, take care of my horse here. And then um, kind of roaming around. There's stuff to buy. Like, I could get her a water bucket. But there's nowhere that goes like, hey, you can take care of horses. So, because you get a special swirly up around the top left corner. When you can tend to your horse's needs in a certain area. So let's run down here. Because apparently James... Oh, there's the Celtic music. Yes, I love it. Apparently James is waiting for us. Oh my gosh, this is too pretty. You know, a lot of people will ridicule video games as an art form, but I can promise you guys, having been someone who found a little bit of escapism and a lot of joy in video games over my entire lifetime, this right here is one of those places I would come if I just needed to be happy for a few minutes. This right here with the beautiful music and the waves and the freedom to run in the fields with all the wild horses. This is truly a happy place, and I hope some of you guys feel like that too. And know that it's okay to feel like that, even when it's just a, a pixelated world. That's totally valid. Alright, so that said, let's dive back into character and talk with James. Hey Saga, check me out. Just arriving by ferry. Cool, right? Hmm? Why is the ferry running? Well, when I told everyone about the Dark Lighthouse at South Hoof, the few tourists who were left went crazy and wanted to visit South Hoof to see for themselves. So I called the Councilman of Silverglade and told him what happened. When he heard you'd gone to South Hoof on your own, he suddenly became very serious and said he'd fix the ferry situation immediately. Over a couple hours, we went by- uh, only a couple hours went by before there was a new ferry turning up at the dock at Fort Pinta. I got to come across on the maiden voyage, and here I am. The ferry will travel regularly between South Hoof and Fort Pinta from now on. Yay for James, I guess. There's going to be some big bucks to be made here, Saga. I feel like I feel like the James infestation has spread onto the peninsula, and it's like, ah, phooey. Uh, now you and all the tourists can come here as often as you like. I'd be, I'll be taking my boat back that you borrowed. You know, it was only to borrow, right? Of course, you can borrow it again if you pay the rental fee. Alright, oh, and we get a little hat. We get the cool South of hat. Oh, and it's actually, like, a pretty decent hat. <gasps> Plus four writing, yes. And look at that command and carrying. Nice. Alright, little souvenir. And I'm going to say uh, just hello really quickly to Emma Springfall. Hello, busy now, but it's so nice to meet you. Whoops, need to meet you. Nice to meet you. As you guys know, general policy is I can't chit chat while I'm doing things. Oh, I want her whole outfit. General chit chat. Uh, general policy is I can't really chit chat while I'm like doing quests, but I'm always so excited to see you guys. If that's all the thanks you get for helping, haha, <laughs> of course not, Saga. Here's a little token of my appreciation. A little souvenir to remind you of your adventures at South Hoof. I was thinking about selling them to tourists. They'll go like hotcakes, don't you think? See you around, Saga. Whoops. Woo! We discovered Fairy Landing! Oh, look, it's like only us here. This is so cool. Wow. Wow, that was really cool. We just kind of like vanished into thin air for a second. Ooh, Sea Home, what a cool last name. All right, so let's see our new hat. I like how I started off today saying I needed new gear and then everybody has like been throwing new gear at me. So here's the cool South Hoof hat. Nice, so we're decked out in our South Hoof items. And what else can we do? So let's go over and we're gonna see if we can visit with the hermit now and build up our friendship with him. Oh, and pardon me, apparently I'm a little bit allergic to all this beautiful lavender here. But we'll see if we can build up our relationship with the hermit a little bit. And we'll also get a chance to see if we can find any of the wild ponies that are roaming across the fields. And if we are able to build up our relationship with the hermit, that'll be amazing. Because we'll slowly but surely get closer to being able to enjoy having a new horse added to our stables. And I haven't forgotten about Melody Warrior. It's really sweet how many of you guys miss Melody Warrior. But yeah, we'll continue to explore South Hoof, the hermit, James, the old registration books, Sonia, uh, Loretta, the Baroness, Ed, Eddie... Yeah, we've got a lot of quests to do and a lot of places to go. And I haven't forgotten the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. All right, you guys, but let's keep an eye out. Doesn't look like the wild ponies are out again. I'm really a little worried about that quest. Hopefully, hopefully, when we get to the hermit, he'll have something to say about what's affecting the wild ponies. And we can make sure that they're going to be okay. 
Because if there's anything that's not cool, it's when people start messing with wildlife in my books. Some kids started yelling at the geese family with their little goslings the other day, and I was so mad, you guys. Angry Siri came out. I was I was nice about it, though. I was just like, you guys shouldn't do that. You should leave the babies alone. And that's kind of how I feel. I want to be a wildlife warrior for sure. And I actually wouldn't mind a job like that. All right, let's come on down. Oh my gosh, I love his little farmland. I just want to buy his house. He's got so many ponies here. Hello, Mr. Hermit. All right, uh, the Hermit's Race, Horse Helper. Hello, are you here to help out with the horses? Eh? Well, yes, you can help. Get some water from the pump and fill up the trough. All right, we'll start doing that. So I think we just have to come here and like start helping him. Look at his garden. I love the Hermit's Garden. This is so cool. All right, Roastone, hang in there. I promise we'll get you some help too. All right, so I guess you just have to come back again and again and kind of work with the hermit. All right, to build up, there we go, to build up your relationship with them. All right, let's see. Uh, I suppose I should say thanks for your help. All right, so there's that. Hang in there, Mr. Hermit. As usual, I need to like reach into the crowd to uh, talk to you. A quest of trust, eh? I don't know you very well yet, but if I trusted you a little more, there's a chance I might let you adopt one of South Hoof's beautiful wild horses. All right, so do we need to race a bit more then? Let's see if it's a question of being able to race a little bit more. And maybe over time, as we go on our races, we will build up a relationship with him. Let's see if that's what it is. Um, the Hermit's Race. You want to ride my racetrack? Eh? Why didn't you say so right away? I'll count you down. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, look at that. That's how you build up with the relationship with the hermit. So there we go. This is not the easiest race in the world either. So, oh my gosh, there's Santa. <laughs> so we'll see how we can manage. All right. Oh, I should put it back on my other outfit. Eh, I'll do that in just a second. All right, there we go. Good job, Rose Stone. And jump. And jump. Good job, Rose Stone. And jump. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. So yes, it looks like to build up the relationship so you can get the pony, you need to come and do the races. Jump and jump. Ah, sorry, Roastone, sorry. Oh boy. No, 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 Roastone, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, there we go. Can you jump that? Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm so painfully bad at it. That's okay. You gotta start somewhere, I suppose. Okay, Rostone, this is not gonna work. But guess what? That counted. We kind of touched the rock with your hoof, so I think that counted. All right, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 Rostone, go, go, go. All right, can we just, oh, we can run between things. That's so good. All right, we completed the race successfully. Not the best, but at least we managed to do it. And I think I should probably put the other outfit back on for now. Yeah, just for now. All right, so that's the hermit's race. Fantastic, simply fantastic. You ride like, well, I don't know what. You're a fine rider. Good, so that's that. And then South Hoof's new racetrack. Our horse has gone up a level. <gasps> Rosestone, congratulations. I promise I'll get you feeling better. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Rosestone. All right, so how are we doing on our reputation with him? So our reputation with, let's see, the hermit on the beach is neutral. So we need to, I think, be at least friendly before we're able to adopt one of the horses from him. And that's going to take a little while. And so I didn't know it, but yeah, we're definitely going to need to run a lot of races with him. You don't know what personal space is, do you? I'm sorry, poor Mr. Hermit. You want to ride my new racetrack, you say? Oh, lovely. Of course you can ride the racetrack, Saga. I can keep time. Come on, I want to see your best performance. Ready? All right, let's do this. Here we go. All right, go, go, Roaster. Go, go, go. You've got this. You've got this. There we go. And then, yeah, then it'll be back home onto the mainland, and we need to start helping the Baroness out again. And doing so many of the other quests that we've kind of been ignoring because I wanted to explore this beautiful new world. But that's going to be really fun. Come on, Roastone, we've got this. 
And I think South Hoof definitely has my heart. It's just so pretty. Oh my goodness! I can't help but feel like the druid should be involved with this stone circle here. Whoops, I thought that was something we had to jump over, but it's not. Same with this. If we run down the middle. Ah, I thought if we ran down the middle. The Aiden tree. Okay, the keepers of Aiden, the Aiden tree. Maybe they will have something to do with this area. I mean, it's a giant stone circle. You would think they would. Hang in there, Rosestone. All right, come on, Rosestone. We've got this. Ooh, under here. And then turn. Oh, wow. This is probably one of my favorites because we run around, through, under, over, past a giant tree. And wow, she's already a little bit faster from having leveled up. That's so cool. All right, up we go. Up we go. Good job, Rosestone. And it's been really fun hanging out with Poppy, but I gotta tell you guys, I really am missing Thistledown. So I think we might go over to a barn and snag Thistledown. Phew, and there we go. All right, so I think that's everything we can do with the Hermit for now. There we go. Oh, well, knock me down with a feather. Fantastic, spectacular. You really fly on the back of Rose Stone. All right, so that is it for the Hermit for now. So you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna pop back over to the mainland because I think that's all we can really work on here in South Hoof for now. And then here's the fairy points. That is so cool. Just imagine like three or four years from now, how open a lot of these areas might become. So we're gonna pop back over and we're gonna start doing our work here at the, the main area. So let's go ahead, call for pickup. Dun dun. And then we're gonna take good care of poor Rose Stone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my promise to her. So here we are. We're at Moreland Stables. Let's see, Lauren Wolfborn. Ooh, Wolfborn's a pretty, pretty awesome name. And McKnight. Oh my goodness, Wolf Feather. Ooh, lots of wolves tonight. All right, so we are back here and we're gonna go and take Rose Stone. I kind of want to take her to a vet, but that might be a little bit excessive um, because it costs so much in, costs so much in star coins. But you know what? It's okay. I promised her we'd take her to a vet. So yeah, we'll go over to Silverglade and we will get her taken care of at the vet. And then Sonia. Interesting. Sonia apparently moves around. Then we might have to go and find Sonia because I'm a little bit curious about what the heck's going on over there. And we'll work with the... Yeah, what? Okay, I'm... I'm. My curiosity has been piqued. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting somebody who kind of like roams around the place. And then we'll go and we'll work with James a little bit more. We still have so much to do back here in the main area. It's going to be so awesome. We're going to get Rose Stone feeling good. We're going to get her through lots of the different races. That looked like twins that we just rode past. That was pretty cool. But we're going to get her back in the races. We're going to dig Thistle down out and make him very happy because he'll be back in his little bag so he can enjoy you can enjoy the adventures that we go on together. And I cannot wait to share all of it with you guys. So I'm going to get Rose Stone over to the vet. And I will see all of you guys next time. Where we will continue doing so many amazing quests. We'll continue exploring. And hopefully we'll be able to build up our reputation over time. So that we can get ourselves a beautiful new Welsh pony. There you go, Rose Stone. Ah, as cool as the peninsula was, it does feel good to be back among the green. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.